Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Julian Opie. And as you can see, I have already opened up a photo of myself facing forward. And I have also opened up a piece of Opie's work just to have something to refer to as I work. Okay. Right, first thing you're going to do is um, change the opacity of this image just to make it slightly lighter. It's going to make it easier to work on. Um, and then we're going to add another layer. Um, and that's the layer we're going to work on. As usual, I'm zooming in. I like to work zoomed in. I find it easier. And I'm going to the pencil tool. And I'm going to choose a pixel size of 30. And just doubling, double check that I've got black for my lines. And away we go. Click and then press shift and click. Um, I am not this abnormally fast. I have sped up this footage a little bit. Um, obviously the usual applies. The closer you click your dots as you go around curves, the smoother the line's going to be. Um, take your time on this. Um, the head shape is quite an important part of it, so making sure that that is correct is well worth taking the time to do. Now I'm going around my ear, and I'm going to take a little bit of creative license and put my other ear in just a little bit. I know it's not there in the photo, but if I don't put it in, I look like a big blobby head. So... I'm just putting that in as well. Okay. Right, next up, my beard. And so going round my beard. My beard is basically the hair that's on my head. And um, again, I get to use artistic license here and um, crop out difficult bits and smooth it out and make it more aesthetically pleasing. There you go. And now I'm going to do the inside of my beard around my lips. Okay, that's good. Right, now my lips themselves and you follow the inside, the line in between both your lips and you put a line underneath. That's what Julian Opie tends to do. Right, now my nostrils, same again, follow the inside line of your nostril to get that curve. And now we're going to do my eyes. So I'm going to put the um, pixel up to 70, so I can just do it in one go, just one click. And again, right in the middle of my pupils, click. And then I'm reducing it to 20, and I'm going to choose white eventually there it is white and I'm going to use that white make sure it's properly white not the background color and that's going to be the highlight on my eyes okay right now the eyebrows are slightly different they're I think a little bit more contoured in his work so instead of the pencil tool I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and again using creative license um, make my eyebrows look fabulous by clicking round to create the shape I want and then filling it with the paint bucket. Okay, All right, so if I zoom out you can see I've done the face and now I need to do my body. Make sure I'm back to 30 and begin clicking down my shoulders. And I'm going to put in just for a little bit of extra detail some of the folds on my t-shirt. I've noticed that Julian OP tends to do people wear with collars, so if you're wearing a collar that's a good thing, but I'm not. Um, so I want to add a little bit more detail to the t-shirt, otherwise it just looks like a big empty space when you start adding the colour. 
OK, and if I just make that layer invisible, you can see my finished drawing. Um, and that is the end of part one of this tutorial.